Hello children, welcome to this session. Today I am going to teach you Term 3, Unit 2, Poem 2, The Dreamer. Before we get into the poem, I will give some more clipped words. Gymnasium, gym. Dormitory, dorm. Handkerchief, Hanky, gasoline, gas, kilogram, kilo, influenza, flu, business, bis, parachute, chute, refrigerator, fridge, taxi cab, taxi or cab. Now I will give you one exercise you have to do. You have to do. Write the clipped words for the following words. Now, let us see the poem, The Dreamer. I will read the poem. You come along with me, children. The Dreamer. Imagine, there is no diversity. It is not hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. Am I a dreamer. I hope not the only one. Will you join me to make the world as one? Imagine all that belongs to you is shared. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. Am I a dreamer? I hope not the only one. Will you join me to make the world as one? Now, let us move on to the first stanza. Imagine, there is no diversity. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. What is diversity, children? Diversity is defined as a condition of having many different elements. An example of diversity is a classroom full of children of different backgrounds. Different backgrounds. A variety, diverse type or examples. The flora of the islands includes a great diversity of orchids. Diversity means having a range of people with various racial, ethnic, socio-economic and cultural backgrounds and various lifestyles, experience and interests. Diversity to me is the ability for differences to coexist together with some type of mutual understanding or acceptance present. There are four t different types of diversity, internal, external, organizational and world view. Here the poet imagines there is no diversity. That is not hard to do, nothing to kill or die for. Am I a dreamer? I hope not the only one. Will you join me to make the world as one? The poet says, not only myself, the other people also will join to me to make the world as one. To make the world as one. Third stanza, imagine all that belongs to you is sad. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. The poet says that what we had that belongs to us that has to be sad with others. If you can, I wonder. No need for greed or hunger. What is uh, greed? Greed means, uh, we say it in Tamil, Perasai. The definition of greed is an extreme or excessive desire for resources, especially for properties such as money, real estate or other symbols of wealth. 
what are examples of greed a person who signs up for government benefits like food stamps that he doesn't deserve and didn't earn and who then sells the food stamps on ebay to get cash a person who steals the christmas decorations that is neighbor put out because he wants them put uh, sorry uh, he wants them but doesn't want to buy them for himself children you want to know who is greedy and who is needy those who are having more money wealth etc are greedy those who are need money food uh, to survive in this world are needy that is why the poet says all that belongs to you is shared if you can i want a no need for greed or hunger the last stanza am i a dreamer i hope not the only one will you join me to make the world as one um, again the poet is asking will you join me i hope not the only one will you join me to make the world as one what you have learned from this uh, poem the dreamer children unity and diversity okay children now i'll read the glossary meanings that is given in page number 1 or 2 children imagine think hope confident belong to be a part share distribute wonder surprise greed excessive desire hunger desire for food and so the following how are we divided in real world we are divided by religion caste and greed does the poet want diversity why no the poet does not want diversity because it divides people do you like this kind of world yes i like this kind of world imagine you are world and write its qualities in the cloud you have to write the qualities no religion first no religion no caste gender equality no pollution no discrimination no caste discrimination that's all about this poem children thank you children take care